Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to derive and graph an isoquant. So an isoquant is a curve showing all combinations of two inputs, usually capital and labor, that can produce a given level of output. So here we have a production function for a firm. Q is uh, output, K is units of capital, L is units of labor. And we are interested in deriving and graphing an isoquant for 16 units of output. So we want to show all combinations of capital and labor that can produce 16 units of output. So the first step here is set Q equal to 16. Okay, so if we wanted to derive an isoquant for 100 units of output, we'd just set this equation equal to 100. But here we're just doing 16. It could have picked, picked any value. And now I want to solve this for k. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide through by 4. So 16 divided by 4 here on the left-hand side is 4. And just uh, continuing to simplify, we're going to solve for k. So um, dividing both sides through by l to the 1 half power, we get this result. Um, I want to get rid of k to the one-half power, so I'm going to square both sides. So 4 squared is 16, k squared here, k to the 0.5 squared is just k, and l to the 0.5 squared is just going to be l. And that is going to be our equation for an isoquant where we are producing 16 units of output. So here's our equation. Now let's get several combinations of K and L when put back into our production function, produce 16 units of output. So if L is 1, just plugging L equals 1 into this equation here, K would be 16. That is one combination of labor and capital that produces 16 units of output. Another one here, if L is 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8. Another combination of labor and capital that produces 16 units of output. And here are several other combinations. I could have put, you know, uh, an infinite number of combinations here. I could have put in L equals 0.5. I could have put in L equals 7.72 and so on. But just keeping the math easy, I just picked these combinations here. And now I'm just going to graph these combinations. So we're going to graph our isoquant here. We've got units of capital on the Y or vertical axis. Units of labor is being measured on the X or horizontal axis. And so just finding these coordinates here. Um, L is 1, K is 16. That's a point up here. This is one point on the isoquant. L is 2, K is 8. Another point on the isoquant. L is 4, K is 4. That's right here. L is 8, K is 2, another one. And L is 16, K is 1. Uh, another point. Connecting the dots here, so this blue curved line represents an isoquant showing all combinations of labor and capital that produce 16 units of output. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.